my whole outlook towards towards this towards the the greater sense of what the county is, including the employees, um, the county offices employees, is that we need a better team aspect. It shouldn't be road and bridge against you know against the sheriffs against fire. It should be. We're all in this together. Let's figure out the best solution. Let's figure out the fastest solution and the most economical solution. Because I think there's a lot of people in the county that work for the county that have some good ideas, and those ideas probably aren't being heard. And then the heads of the department have a tough time, too. I mean, think about it. They've got to deal with the employees that, that might do something that upsets a homeowner, and then so they, get it, they hear from the homeowner, they hear from the county commissioners. So it's a tough spot. And what I want to do is come in and say, listen, let's develop a team thing. We're going to come in here and figure out how to solve problems how to do it the best way and try to make our customers, the, the, uh, the people of the county, happy. You're not going to make everyone happy, I already know that, but let's do the best we can because at the end of the day it relieves their stress as well. It provides job security, it relieves the headaches and the heartaches, um, it makes everything better. But we have to start thinking a different way. We can't keep thinking about my own little kingdom of road and bridge, my own little kingdom of, of, of the sheriff's department or fire, whatever it is, uh, and I'm not necessarily saying that's happening, but I, well, actually I am saying that's happening. I mean, it's natural. We do that. We, I do it. You know, but we need to stop and go, okay, what's more important? Um, if we all took the attitude that it's not about us, it's about doing the job and getting it done right, it'd relieve a whole bunch of stress. And of what I call the, the carryover Tenth Amendment, so we have the Tenth Amendment in the, in the, uh, in the in U.S. Constitution um, that talks to states' rights, and I think that should carry down, obviously, to every, every segment. So we should have a Tenth Amendment for, for the county's rights, so any, anything not, not specifically given to the feds or the state should be the, the, uh, the, the sole responsibility of the county. And even so far as to say to go down to the city's rights as well, because there's certain things that go on within the city, that the city's issues and the city's problems, and, and the city needs to deal with them, same way with the county. So are there things that, uh, that, um, that I'm going to work to make sure that um, pressure possibly coming down from the state that may reflect negatively on our county or may impact our county negatively are stopped? At the state level, and we've got some good representatives um, that'll that'll help as well. But that'll be the other the other force of of, uh, of at least my time in office will be to go. Listen, let's make sure we protect Bonner County. That's my job. I'm here to protect Bonner County. About the EMT and and, and the uh, and Sago Fire, which is now Selkirk Fire. Selkirk Fire is the uh, Sago Fire Department, and Sandpoint the City Fire Department. They have the same chief. The problem I see. Uh, well, let me back up. First, I I see the importance of having EMT with fire. One, you've got a lot of cross-training that goes on because a lot of firemen are, are trained in, in emergency medical. Um, you've got the ability to actually use fewer employees and still staff a building because you don't have a specialized employee there. If there's a big emergency, you've got backup. Um, the other side of it is you, you do what the commissioners currently want to do and they want to build a new building that's estimated to be 350000 plus you've got the cost of staffing that building 24 hours a day because you've got to have someone there to take the phone calls and the EMTs available. At the same time, we've got a firehouse not too far away that's also staffed, also we're paying for, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's not a, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that we need to put the two of them back together. Now, to me, this sounds like an issue with personalities. We've got on one side some commissioners that are, that are kind of an immovable force, and then the other side a fire chief that might be an immovable force, and it doesn't take a, a smart adult to sit down and say, listen, Let's figure out where we can where we can make some changes here that works out well for everybody. Um, I'm not a big fan of empire building, and to me, and I could be wrong, but this looks like empire building. Expansion, expansion, expansion. It's not responsible for the for the citizens of Bonner County because you know who pays for all this. We all do, mm -hmm. um, and and we pay a lot. Uh, so I, so to me, I think this is a problem that can be that can be um, fairly easily fixed if you can just get the uh, the two bulls in the corral to come together and have a conversation.